Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers. received a lot of really fantastic feedback in the previous one. Thank you so much, all of you, for your comments, your suggestions, your likes, your subscriptions, all that good stuff. The channel's growing like crazy. If you guys keep that up, I could probably drop some of those jobs and start doing more of this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. First off, we got the Auto Refill Bottles mod installed. It's just a great little quality of life thing. Allows us to refill our bottles from the survival kit so we don't have to go mess around in inventories. Great suggestion there. Really cool. Next up was the fact that a lot of people said the Weapon Core mod seemed to be malfunctioning. It wasn't allowing people to shoot. So I downloaded the Weapon the Vanilla Weapons Replacement mod, I think is what it's called, the Weapon Core, which should fix the problem. I don't know if it will. We'll find out together. Also, some people were wondering why there were giant turrets on the ships. That is the NPC Weapon Upgrades mod, uh, which you can find. It's all linked in the description in a mod list that used to work by replacing a weapon on a ship with any random weapon of roughly the same size, just to add a bit of variety to the encounters you'd find. Uh, that no longer works like that, as you can see on the store page. Uh, they now just put whatever will fit in that space on that ship. So, you know, it does result in cargo ships having giant battleship mainline guns on it, but it also, you know, adds to the entropy of the series, and we're all about entropy on this channel. So uh, let's just go ahead and embrace the chaos, I say. Oop. Ah, the perfect way to break. Anyway, we now need to deal with that ship over there. And I want to do this as quickly as possible because I must have recorded this intro about 10 times and it always takes me 20 minutes to get through this. So we're going to do this real quick. Step one, we're going to have to grind off this cockpit. It's going to take a freaking lifetime to do so. But we grind off the cockpit. Inventory. My inventory was full. Okay, never mind. We drop off the inventory, then we grind off the cockpit, then we replace the cockpit, then everybody's happy. Okay, just, just got to catch all the pieces flowing in the sky. There we go. Then you grab the new cockpit. Okay, this one over here. Then you say the word cock four more times so that the YouTube algorithm demonetizes your channel. It's simple. Elementary, my dear Watson. Oh, god damn it. I, I must have dropped off something vital. All right, hold on. Go get the pieces. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Where's my ship? Which one's my ship? That one's my ship. Okay, there we go. Got all the pieces. Uh, it'll take a little while to weld it up to full health, so we're going to ignore it for now. Uh, the next thing I need to do is remove all of these smart components on this ship. Um, they tend to bug out for some reason, and I've actually had the ship just delete itself from existence. So let's avoid that by removing all remote blocks, all programmable blocks, all of that good stuff as quickly as possible. Let me steal this color. Put that right over there. Put that right over there as well. And I get rid of this antenna because I can't seem to change the uh, status on that antenna. It's the timer blocks built into this thing affected. All right, nice. And then the timer block back here is the one I'm going to have to get rid of in order to really do this. Oh, and I should probably drop off these components. Uh, I think for now I'm just going to stick them in the bottom here. Let's just uh, Let's just offload this and grind this thing down. We can, we can get them out of there any other time. Oh, excuse you. Okay, timer block there, timer block there. And then there's one, there's two more, I think. And there's, there's another programmable block somewhere I'm going to have to find at some point. There we go, because those timer blocks really screw up everything else. All right, that looks solid to me. I hear the engines pulsing in complaint. But uh, let's go ahead and name this bad boy. So, I received a lot of really good names, um, some honorable mentions before we go. Uh, first, in first place is the Pointy One, uh, for reasons which I think are fairly obvious. It's that sometimes the simplest names are the best, but unfortunately, it wasn't quite as good as some of the others. Uh, next up was the No Regrets, because you're damn right, I've got no regrets. We got nothing but haters in the comments. I'm kidding. It's like 1% at most of the comments are annoyed at, like, decisions and they're nitpicking. You know what? If people are nitpicking, that means you're doing most things right. So I'm taking it as a win. The No Regrets was definitely an excellent suggestion. 
but uh, there could only be one. Next up was the Stolen Valor, and I'll be completely honest, this was my, like, this was the this was in the running until I saw the last one, but, but Stolen Valor is so good. We might even go back to it at some point. I don't know. I'm. We literally stole it. Like, it's, it's so good. Uh, the Flying Metal was a really interesting name. It feels very Armored Core, doesn't it? And this is the new game just released. Kind of felt like a bit of an homage to that. I love the Flying Metal. It lit I mean, it's kind of what it is. I guess it's Floating Metal at this point. I guess we're all just kind of floating metal in a very abstract sense. But of course, the final name was the one we kind of already had, which was the BBZ Need Help. Uh, I think that is just as good as it's going to get. We'll have to stick an antenna on this at some point, but for now that'll work. Uh, am I missing a programmable block somewhere? No, it looks like I've got them. Uh, let's just see if they make sure they're not hidden. No, it looks like we've got all the programmable blocks. Did I get all the sensors? No, there is still another sensor. If I don't get all of them, the ship just deletes itself for some reason. I don't know if this is an intentional behavior or if something's bugging out. But regardless, let's go ahead and explore this guy a little bit. What have we got? We've got some landing gear on the bottom. We have what looks like a pair of reloadable rocket launchers. They come with two launch tubes each. We have another set of reloadable rocket launchers up top. That's pretty nifty. We've got some twin link Gatling guns, four of them. And we've got these non-reloadable rocket launchers in the front. I think we're probably going to remove those. Uh, we already have forward-facing ones over there, after all. Okay, this looks pretty damn cool to me. I think... Oh, we even got the, the camera connector. That's pretty dope. All right, let me go ahead and set up the controls for this, and then we'll give it a test drive. All right, there we go. All set up, I hope. We've now got our toolbar linked together. So I should... And I, I do mean this as should. I, I don't know if this is going to work. I should now be able to tap one to fire this with my gun. We want to do... Yes, there we go. Okay, that's firing. Uh, turn that off. Switch to mouse control for the front launcher. It doesn't fire. And I think that's because I have to give it a target, right? So let's lock on to... Uh, the center point on the, the ship is somehow, for some reason below the cursor. It's a little odd. But we can cycle between different signatures. I'm now locked on to the bottom here. So let's fire. And we got a missile. It went a little high. What if I aim a bit lower? Okay, they do seem to track, but not re I don't know what the hell that's tracing. Uh, give me my... There we go. Okay, it's still going center mass. I. Turns out, I don't really understand how this works. Okay. Um, right click seems to be pinging something. T seems to be switching targets. I guess we're... Oh, sh Back off, boys. Back off. Woo! I think I got in range of a warhead there. Seems like the station is mined. Interesting. Okay, but do I have my bombs? That's the real question I care about here. Are my bombs going to fire? How do I how do I lock targets? I'm still learning how the warhead works. Okay, can I just can I just fire? Is not firing. I thought I set that to mouse control. Hold on, give me a second. Control mode, manual, shoot mode, mouse control. Okay. And fire. Those seem to be working. That's no longer working. And it seems to be because I don't have a target. I think I've blown up the reactor that was in there. Ah, uh, well. Rest in pepperonis, king. Maybe I need to use a different order here. What if we just go... What if we just do a, a shoot once? That doesn't seem to be working. It's quite possible that this AI ship might just have too much code on it for me to effectively use. If that is the case, then maybe we just do one of these. I mean, it's literally being told to shoot right now and it won't do it. Okay, if that's the case, we might just have to scrap this lad. Um, or maybe we'll just test it out when we have a more valid target. Maybe we just can't fire into the void for no reason. Okay, where is my ship? Let's go park this and then come and explore what remains of this thing. Sounds like there's quite a bit of violence going on in there already. Okay, I've locked onto this one. If I switch to mouse control for you and I fire. Well, it's clearly not particularly good at tracking its targets. Um, so I wouldn't say that that's working particularly well. I'll be honest with you. All right, this thing is also very hard to pilot. It is, it's very like sort of strafey. Oh, oh, 
Let me go flip around. Okay. Uh, if anybody knows how to target the rockets, let me know. Like, how do I lock onto a target? I'm, sh I'm guessing... I've never played with this mod before. So I'm guessing there's, uh, there's some kind of control I'm missing. Um, I have not read the documentation. Warriors don't read. And also, hi, my name's Jared. I'm 19. Never learned how to read. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. And land. There we go. Okay. I didn't put the I didn't put the, the, the landing gear on there. Okay, now land. There we go. Alright, very nice. What was the power rating left on that? Uh, one year. That's real time, by the way. Real time, one year. It's a bit menacing to walk out to, but otherwise I think we're fine. Also, we need to turn this back on. Because we are about to lose juice. Yeah, we had three minutes of power left. Okay, let that let that take over. Uh, next up, we need to set up our checklist. Okay, number one is going to be upgrade tools. I'm a simple man. I need faster equipment. Number two is going to be to explore that station. Number three is going to be to find more ore. I think that's definitely something we have to do. And number four here is going to be to build a miner. And then number four is going to be to handle that. We're going to upgrade our refinery and assemblers. Right now, the basic assembler and that one assembler are fine, but if we want to go bigger, if we want to do more, we're going to need more. Okay, so start off by turning this thing off um, so that it doesn't auto-craft. Take me to that basic assembler. Turn him off too. Okay, then take me over here. I'm going to go clear this out. Take me to disassembling. I want you to disassemble some of those thruster components, as many as you can get your hands on, as well as some of those metal grids and some of those displays. I'm doing this so that I can get access to the platinum, the nickel, and the silicon, because we are very low on those particular elements. It should then process these, I hope. Yes, there we go. And then it'll process out these, and that'll give us a ton of each resource. And that is because the tools I want to make require those resources. Okay, then, assemble a elite grinder, an elite welder, and an elite hand drill in that order. There we go. That's going to be so much better. We can then put these away. Don't need them anymore. Oh, very nice. There's my grinder. Okay. There comes the welder, and there will be the drill as well. So this is going to change everything for us. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. This is so much faster than the other ones. Let's, let's go ahead and slurp these off real quick. Oh, it's, it's instantaneous. Nothing stands in our way now, boys. Nothing stands in our way now. Okay, we don't have enough platinum, unfortunately, to make the elite drill. But you know what? The the, the, the level, the tier 2 drill I've got already is probably fine. I don't, I mean, we're not going to be doing all that much hand mining for a while anyway. So let's go ahead and just accept that as it is. Uh, I'm going to turn this back on as well as my basic assembler. Let these guys get back to work as they were. Okay, back on assembling. Very nice. Alright, he's going to try and bake the thruster components now. Well, tough ticket, son. Not going to happen. Alright, but let's go ahead and explore that uh, area. I think we go in with our new welder. I'm going to need some magazines for my... Uh, I'm, on, I'm on the walls. I'm on the walls. I won't need this. I will need this. I might need this. I'm going to need some more magazines too. So give me some clips, baby. Let's go, let's go 20 of those. It's like 8 shots each, right? So it's like 160. It did quite a bit of damage. So I, I kind of like, and I like that it has a red dot on it. Okay, let's, uh, let's reload this lad over here. Much better. Go in with what, 5 shots? I think we'll go in with 5 shots. Let it just, let it just bring us a little bit more there. 5 extra mags, that's an extra, what, 40 rounds? That'll be perfect. Or 20, rather. Uh, no, no, it's 40. Okay, let's go investigate this wreck. So I don't know specifically what we are up against here. But I'm willing to bet that there's going to be a lot more explosions in the future. I don't know what I'm looking for. But I imagine we'll find them one way or another. 
Okay, let's use the mag boots as little as possible, I think, because they're going to get me in trouble. I don't know what kind of radius I've got before stuff blows up on me, so I'm just going to take it slow. I mean, that explosion there was enormous, right? What am I looking for? Okay, I'm getting... I'm getting blue. I was going to go chop down these conduits, but I'm getting some blue lights over there. Let's go. That's a control seat over there by the look of it. And what what the hell is that? All the way down there, do you think? You guys see that? It's a little bit of blue in the distance there. Let's get some, uh, let's get some components out of this. I don't see anything. Oh, I, I see. Do you see that? What is that? Hold on. Is that a warhead? I see spikes. Let's let's shoot it up a bit and see what happens here. Okay, I'm gonna need a few mags for this one, I think. I'm getting hits. Yeah, I'd say that was definitely a warhead. Okay, cool. I thought it was maybe a bit more prudent to do that. All right, well, this is this is kind of cheating. Um, it doesn't look like there's any more of them. Oh, no, there's one down there. Okay, but this... Uh, oh, jeez, I thought that was going to blow up. I was going to say, this this feels a bit like cheating. The fact that we could just, like, see through the floors with this thing. Um, so, I next time I, I salvage one of these wrecks, I won't bring it along. Because that's not very interesting, right? To be able to just see through here. Also, this is too fast. Inventory I'm already... My, oh my god, my inventory is already full. Okay. Anything of value up here, I wonder? I see a light. I think we blew up anything of value when we got too close with the fighter. Yeah, it looks like all that's left is this. Access denied? Let's hack it. Okay. What have we still got on this station? A couple doors... Some cargo, a cargo container, huh? What's in you? Nothing. There's a small reactor somewhere with a tiny bit of uranium. We can get the components out of that. That'd be nice. But for the most part, this place is just junk. We could try and fix it. There is a lot of material. I mean, there's a lot of steel here. I will think about it. An experimental jump craft. Oh, we got to go check that out too. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's put this back in the ship. Let's turn on our signal. And uh, let's go work out what this civilian signal is to. Okay, drop off all of that. Uh, give me my antenna. Let's just turn this back on. It is on. Uh, let's put that up to like two kilometers so I can actually see this ship even when I'm a bit further away from it. That does mean enemies can see the ship, but you know what? That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Also, you're, you're, you're not looking particularly pointy, Mr. Pointy. Oh, and look at that. It refills. Did it refill my bottles as well? It did. Oh, I think they were actually still full. We'll have to check that in a second, see if that's working. All right, Mr. Unknown Signal. Let's get a little closer to you. Oh yeah, we never checked out. All right, but before we go anywhere, let's go ahead and investigate whatever the hell this thing is. I'm seeing projectors. I'm seeing timer blocks. I'm seeing a wheel of all things. Uh, we got a we got a battery we could steal. Uh, that's pretty nice. And some and that's it. It's just a beacon. Okay, it's just like it's just like a place you can see, I suppose. Well, that's, I mean, that's interesting in its own way, I suppose. All right, I like the pillar. We should use some more pillars in our ship, I think. Anyway, a lot of people have been asking me whether or not this is being recorded on a live server or if this is offline. This is offline, but I do have a community server. It is generously hosted by one of our Australian community members, Mel Roman. Uh, thank you very much, Mel, for doing that. Also, we need to go capture that jump ship, dude, uh, right away. I think some piracy is in order. It is also my sort of public Discord community that's available to everybody. So if you'd like to hop on and join us, you're very welcome to. The server you can find a link to in the description. And uh, yeah, all you got to do is just join and you'll have access to all the information regarding the server. Uh, small problem. Uh, the small ship is indeed fighting the thrust of the big ship. That is not ideal. That is a waste of power. We're going to have to turn off the small ship's thrusters uh, fairly shortly. How are you slowing down the big ship so much better that the big ship slows down itself, huh? That's oh, because the big ship thrusters were on. Yeah, that'll do it. Let's get a little closer to this uh, Delta V experimental jump craft. I'm, I want to see if we can maybe uh, take that with us. I'd love to grab a jump drive and slap it on the bottom here. 
We also really need to expand the base. It is, uh, I want to build like a little industrial area underneath this. We can't move those thrusters just yet, but, uh, or we could with welding pads. I do have the advanced welding mod installed at the suggestion of everybody in the comment section and their grandmothers. But yeah, that is something we can think about. Take me up to like, uh, let's do like a comfortable 60 meters per second. Uh, let's, you know what, let's make it 75. I'm in a rush. Oh, and he jumped. Bastard. Okay. Never mind. Well, look, that station was a bit of a dud. It did look very cool, but there wasn't much going on in it. So I think instead, I think we pivot our plan and we go back to plan A, which is sort out these miners. I'm going to uh, put these thrusters on their own group so that this stops being a problem. I'm going to put those on a group. There we go. And then we're just going to put them on a simple switch lock over here. Uh, toggle block on off for now. Turn them off so they stop fighting against the big one. All right, I'm going to chart a course for that asteroid over there. We're going to blast towards it. And we're going to uh, switch off the dampeners and just coast in that direction while I get everything else set up here. I'm going to do some work around the ship. All right, but we have upgraded our tools. We explored the station, or what was left of it. I guess it wasn't particularly interesting, unfortunately. Uh, but we can do some other stuff here. We can go find some more ore. Uh, but in the meantime, in the meantime, we can upgrade our refinery. And I know we just got this ship, but I'm very tempted to cut it apart for parts and instead put some missile turrets on the not fit for purpose. I just don't really see a use for a lightly armored small fighter. I mean, I guess we could use it for scouting, but then we'd have to bring the big ship over there anyway. And since we don't have a jump drive, it's kind of a long flight either way. I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we cut this lad apart for parts, to be completely honest. I want the magnesium in these guns more than I want anything else. We can do it. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll take it for a spin. We'll see if we can do some raiding with it before I do that, though. Uh, let's start with by upgrading our refinery and assemblers, then. All right, so for the refinery here, we're going to need to add some modules. These are added right over there. And uh, let's grab let's grab the refinery gray we've become so, we've become so accustomed to. Uh, if, never mind, it's black. So I'm thinking speed modules and a couple of power power control modules as well. So two speed, two power, that seems like a pretty solid idea. And then you know what, we'll do the same for the, uh, for the assemblers as well. We'll do two speed, one power. That should make this assembler pretty potent. We can just slap a bunch of speed modules without the power control ones, or vice versa, but I think it's better to have a bit of a balance going through them, if I'm completely honest. Alright, so, clear this menu. Weld this one together. Oh my god, it's so fast with this welder, it's ridiculous. We probably do not have the parts to make all of this just yet. But I'm going to put all of it on the build menu. I'm going to put everything into production, and we're going to just see what we get. I think specifically the power cells are going to be a real problem. It's so fast. Oh my god. Okay, building the speed modules first is very fun, but it is also a bit of a problem. Uh, because they are going to tank our power grid. Uh, we got to get these power ones built quickly too. Okay, there there's one. And then what do we, what do we make? I bet you we're out of nickel. We're always out of damn nickel. We got a little bit of nickel left from smashing up those tools. It gave us two more power cells. Unfortunately, that is not going to cut the proverbial mustard on this one. Yeah, it's all just power cells we're missing. Okay. Nothing to be done about that, I'm afraid. I mean, because th hear me out, right? If we take the reactor out of this, we could put it on the big ship. And uh, I'll, I'll let you... Okay, hello everybody. Uh, sorry for the weird jump cut there. Uh, we lost the save. Uh, I was recording the next part of the episode. I lost electricity. It's just something that happens here in South Africa every now and then. And uh, it lost the file. So, we have gone back a little bit. I still need to put these back on, but we'll just get to that. I need to deal with these things. I don't know if we did that in the previous recording or not, but people did say, hey, what's the point of keeping the basic assembler and refinery at this point? And you know what? You're right. If we're adding on all those extra pieces, we might as well get rid of these little extra pieces too. I don't think we need any of those. Okay, let's get rid of that and let's get rid of this because they're just power drawers and they're inefficient compared to the big stuff. Uh, as you can see, yes, I also have not uh, upgraded my tools again this time, so that's going to be fun. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and get that started. Uh, this whole process again. Oh God, spare me. Okay. Um, Let's start over here. 
I gotta turn. Oh, before I turn this off, someone did say if I put IIM dash main in here, there you go. Then Izzy's will use this as its main screen, which is so useful because that means that I can put, I think it's IIM dash inventory in this. Izzy LCD. There we go. It did the thing. It did the thing. Now we go to the custom data and here we just type components. And we should see all of the components here. Uh, maybe it needs to be... No items containing components found. You're crazy. It's component. I'm crazy. Component. How about now? Hey, there we go. Okay, so now at a glance, we can see what we've got stored. Okay, and it'll just scroll. Hell yes. That's the dream. That's the dream right there. Okay, our to-do list is still there. We've got to find ore and build a miner. That will that will work it on right now. Give me uh, disassembling. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to first turn you off. Give me disassembling. Let's get rid of like 20 thruster components just to get the platinum back. We're going to have to get some silicon. We're going to have to get... Now, uh, you would give nickel and gold. Well, you'll give gold, actually, Mr. Gravity Component. Interesting. Uh, but I'd rather get rid of... Uh, drum roll, please. I can actually get rid of these instead of the the, the, the displays. Those actually might be worth a bit more. Assuming we have any of that in stock. Doesn't look like we do. Okay, get rid of those. I changed my mind. And then also get rid of... What's going to have nickel? This will have nickel. Okay, and then as far as the tools go, I want you to make this. I want you to make this. I want you to make... Uh, you won't be able to make that. I want you to make this. We should be able to do all these three. Uh, if it was assembling, anyway. Okay, it's cooking. Excellent. Now, I've been thinking about it, and as much as the need help is pretty dope, uh, I think I need the components more than I need help. We could just put some missile turrets on this guy for extra defense. So... Uh, I know we all have, I know we, before we all get too attached, uh, the need help is going away. We're setting it to a farm up state. And what I'm mostly interested in is these things right over here, the reactor components. I want to know how much I can get out of this. We can build a small, we can build a large grid small reactor for this ship, which actually, genuinely, unironically, might save our lives. Because we ain't got no juice anymore, Lieutenant Dan. Uh... Oh, oh my. That's a little scary. Uh, yeah, I think... Okay, I'm going to put it over here. And we're going to fit another conveyor junction in right there. Give me a reactor. Ah, yes. The reactor. And, uh, you know what? Let's copy the old uh, ship pattern. I do love that blue. I must say, I am quite partial to the blue. Okay, it's going to take quite a bit to build that. But we're going to do it. And then I want it. Oh, there was some lights over there. Also, I'm going to get rid of this corridor. Because uh, we could use the interior plates. 74 interior plates is no joke. Conveyor. We're going to put down this lad right over here. He's going to go right over there. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can already make this one. So let's just grab that. Yes, sir, I can. And then we're not going to be able to make the reactor just yet, but we'll be able to make some of it. And that's kind of what I really care about. And we'll salvage all the other parts we need from the fighter. Okay, yeah, as predicted, we do not have enough reactor components, but that's actually completely okay. Uh, let's get that upgraded drill. And... There we go, grinder and welder. Okay, now we are cooking with gas. There we go. Let's uh, go ahead and set these up. And now, now we shred that we shred that fighter completely. It's completely useless. We would just get swatted out of the sky. I know this because in the uh, the lost, the fabled lost run, we get swatted out of the sky. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna turn this thing into a pile of scrap. Man, the upgraded grinder really does the work, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh, we got fuel for centuries, man. This is gonna this is gonna save us. Now, I know some people are going to be a bit annoyed that we've just scrapped this fighter after just getting it, and I totally understand that. Uh, just take it from me, a lightly armored small grid fighter is not going to do much when every random NPC ship can just spawn in with, like, battleship mainline guns. Uh, what we really need is we need ammunition and we need heavy weapons for our larger ship. 
as well as significantly more um, power so that we can power our shield consistently. That's probably the most important thing by a huge margin, in my opinion. Now, we don't have to scrap all of this in one go. I mostly just want to get the reactor um, ready and firing. If, out of interest, if I pull this apart, I do get the uranium. Okay, but that should give us everything we need if I, uh, for this. Yes, it did. Oh, baby, there's hope. Oh, and it's turned on. Okay, turn this on so that that can manage the uranium. How long until we are out of power now? Fully depleted in four minutes. Um, um, hold on. That doesn't seem like it's working correctly. We just added power to the grid. We're producing 50 megawatts. This produces five. Why are we fully depleted in four minutes? I feel like this just hasn't switched over to the correct state. If I put you on recharge, fully recharge in 14 minutes. Yeah, we're completely fine. 34 minutes, four minutes. I struggle to believe that we are using 15 megawatts of power anywhere on this. Thing. Where's that refinery? Show me the refinery. He's using a kilowatt. He's using a kill. Oh, because we haven't even plugged in the module slots yet. Yeah, because that, 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 that rolled back. Ah, he's fine. Being ridiculous. That's what's happening. Nah, this, this grinder is too much, man. It's too much, dude. I, I, I gotta turn this down. It's ridiculous. Although it is also very funny. This is the default speeds, by the way. I didn't change this at all. This is just what the game suggests you play with when you uh, load up a world. I Again, I hadn't played it so long. I was like, well, you know what? We'll just leave it at whatever the devs think is appropriate. Uh, but this is this is maybe a little too much, man. I, like, yeah. It is very, very funny, though. I think I'm going to keep it. Well, you know what? You guys can let me know in the comments. Do we uh, do we keep the insane grinding speed? It would it would make a bit of an overpowered tool to use on uh, boarding missions, though. That is just something to be aware of. I mean, this ship's basically gone already. Uh, that's that's nice for us. Okay, let's go and uh, let's go and sit in the chair for a second. I'm going to move down towards this asteroid while we're waiting for everything else to pan out. What we're really looking for here... I need to put an ore detector on this thing, step one. Step two, what we're really looking for here is ice. Really hoping to find ice at some point. Also, I'd like to point out that we now have three hours of power even while firing our thrusters. There is hope. There's a defense platform down there I think we should go check out next. It's not a civilian faction, so they might actually have some stuff we could steal. The civilian stations tend to be a bit boring. Uh, let's go put back our modules, and then we will put back the... Um, and then we'll build an ore detector to put on top of all of it. We could try a yield module on here. How much uh, superconductor? It requires 20 superconductor. We actually have 20 superconductor. So let's build a yield module. What that does, it gives you significantly more um, material out of your ore, which is uh, it's very, very worth doing, believe me. Oh, and we actually got the yield module. Hell yeah, dude. I don't think the yield module does anything when it's on the assembler. Would someone in the comments please let me know about that one? All right, the assembler's going crazy mode now. And we're just waiting on the power cells. Okay, and that's mostly probably because we're just out of nickel, if I had to take a guess. All right, well, let's put down a detector. Uh, we're going to want this, and my lights are off, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, and we're out of uh, semi superconductor again, but you know what? That's what this is for. Let's, uh, let's grab our new drill, which I don't think I have on me. I do not. Let's grab our new super drill, and let's use that to get some ore, to get some nickel, so on and such as, to get the detector components we're looking for. And I can already tell that the programmable block's going to be annoying, so we're just going to turn that off and make sure these are at the front of the line. Yeah. Oh man, the level 2 drill goes so fast. Oh, that's amazing. Now, this one I don't think I'm going to change, because mining is painful. Inventory full. Alright, have you got the detector component? Don't make all that nonsense. Well, I mean, we kind of do need that nonsense. But make this nonsense first, damn it. I forgot that it does that. I forgot it doesn't just work in order. Stupid, clever programming. Inventory Getting in the way of full. my own idiocy. Really probably should just put a large drill underneath this refinery, huh? Like, just stick it off right here. In fact, really, I'm just gonna do that, probably. TBH? Uh, is it a stupid, is it a bad, bad idea? Yes. Uh, does it look like it's gonna stop me? No. What's the problem? I need steel plates. 
This, you're the problem. It's me. I, I'm the problem. It's me. Uh, give me the rest of the juice, please. Give me the rest of the juice. Thank you. Oh, he's perfect. Oh, he's actually perfect. Okay, that's gonna, that's gonna do the trick. Just turn that on real quick. And then uh, we'll just, we'll just drag that along the surface. Just dra and then while while it's while it's mining, you know what I'll do is I'll I'll turn off the. Uh, this, this is going to be pretty stupid if it works. Uh, give me an angle, give me just the slightest angle. Okay, turn off the reverse thrusters and then just just tap forward. There we go, and we're just moving ever so slightly. I think we might be moving a little bit too fast. Ah shit. Uh, maybe you can keep up. Move it at half a meter per second, and that should, I hope. Just go up a little bit. That should, I hope, just let it continue to dig. We'll just dig a little trench. It looks like it's working. And it doesn't look like we're going to scrape anything else. I'm just going to have to go a bit higher. Otherwise, this won't work. We just got to make sure that it doesn't... Otherwise, if it, if it hits the top of the drill, it'll just pivot us over and smash something. Does that look like it's going to work to me? Okay, cool. Infinite stone glitch. All right, well, that should... There uh, we go. 24k stone already. That should do... The rest of these and it did hell yeah okay uh give me the last of those detector components hold on where'd they go there we go and then turn you back on and then make me a bunch of power cells there we go and i probably just want to get those auto crafting at this point at this point i hiccuped as i said point and so i ended up saying whoop <laughs> okay, for reactor components, I actually want to try and store a hundred. That's what the silver is useful for. Um, gravity generator, I'll leave that at six. I think we need twenty for a jump drive. So let's we can start trying to make those. Same goes for detector components. I think we need twenty for a jump drive. Bulletproof glass, store me like a hundred and twenty in case I need to make some windows. Now that we're getting stuff in, I'm kind of willing to spend it a bit. Let's also, let's go 120 on the superconductor. We can't make it because we don't have gold, but at some point we might. Uh, give me 120 on thrusters too. Okay, now we should see an update to have, there we go, power cells. Power cells, I want you to keep me 160 in stock, because that gives me two batteries at, an, at a moment's notice. And batteries spawn in with 30% power. Okay, that should help with efficiency. We've got all, I mean, that's a significant upgrade to equipment, that's for sure. Uh, and we've managed to dig our trench. Okay, lovely. Let's land here. It's such a scuffed solution, just sort of bumping the, the ship forward to let it run, but it worked. You cannot argue with results. All right, let's just, I'm just gonna have this set to on or off. Oh uh, yeah, put it over there, but then I'll also just have an on off button for this. There we go, just turn you off for now. All right, I mean, that worked. And then we just turn the thrusters back on and we stop. Bro. That was pretty sick. Also, with the thrusters on and nothing else running, do the hydrogen tanks drain? No. Okay, so thrusters... I thought thrusters use fuel at idle. They do not. I have uh, once again lied to you all. Alright, ore detector. Maximum range. There's cobalt on these hills. There's cobalt in them there hills. Alright, let's go see if we can find it. Cobalt is a pretty valuable one. Where is this cobalt? I need lights. That's something else. You know what? Adding that to the checklist. We need lights. Build lights. That's going on the list. I don't think we're going to get to building a miner today, unfortunately. We'll probably end up using these thruster components for the mining ship, actually. That makes a lot more sense, right? And we even have some reactor left over to make some small grid reactors as well. Yeah, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Alright, so where's this cobalt? Allegedly. Oh, definitely not there. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try and scout this with my guy. And then it's like more down here. It's always on the surface. It is sometimes on the surface inside the asteroid if there's like a tunnel through it though. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and slash GPS so that no one shouts at me in the comments. And I'm just going to put down cobalt. All right. Right over there. And uh, that'll make it easier to find with this. And then we can save that for later. Because I think I'm going to get a little fleet of mining drones going which will go out mine resources and then bring them back to a central hub for processing i think that's what i want to do uh we'll have to find platinum before i can do that because that's what i'll need to make more thrusters and we'll need uranium to fuel them i mean we could do it with hydrogen uh it's just a little bit more scary because it's it's a lot more it's a lot easier for them to run out of juice you know 
Okay, just taking note that we are down to 17% fuel. Uh, but I'm going to get just a silly amount of cobalt here. Yeah, this drill, this drill was a good call. I think we're ready. Just, we're just going to pick up like an actually unnecessary amount of cobalt. You don't need a huge amount of it until you start building armored ships. But I don't really want to have to think about it after this point, you know? And we'll pick up some more stone on the way, why not? Okay, then let's try the same trick. So let's just pulse it forwards. And see if that works. Ah, I went a bit too fast, I think. Ah, but it is still working. Yeah, how much are we cooking with here? Quite a bit, by the look of things. Uh, we've got 20,000 cobalt. 27,000 cobalt currently stored up. Which, I'm going to be completely honest with you, that's plenty cobalt. I don't think we are ever going to use that much cobalt. That being said, let's make it uh, 40,000 cobalt. This, this is such a stupid system. I hate that it works so well. Oh my god, it's so effective. Alright. That's more like it. We're now going to have to group them, but that will be basically the same idea, just uh, a whole lot faster. Okay, so the drills, I think we'll just do three. We could do more, but I think for now we'll just do three. Uh, we're going to stop showing them in terminal, and then we're going to set up the exact same thing over here. It's just be toggle block on or off. Turn those lads on. One meter per second is probably a bit too fast. Let's take that down to... Well, I guess it kind of breaks itself, doesn't it? Because it just it, if it hits the wall, that's the speed it goes. And I think, I think half a meter... That really does seem to be the sweet spot. And let's blast off. You know what? And I actually, I want to start heading towards the moon. I think that's our new strat. I think we need to uh, start moving in this direction. It's going to take a long time to get there without a jump drive. But we might be able to, like, capture a ship with one as we go. But uh, we're going to, yeah, we're going to just sort of move and, and then we're going to grow with it. And you know what? I'll be completely honest with you guys. I really do not think we need to keep that cobalt signal any longer. I think, like, I'm gonna turn it off, but I don't think we need it. How far are we away from the ice? We're 22 Ks. Maybe we should make a stop and refuel. Nah, let's just go. We're just gonna go this way. Okay, I'm gonna get this lad up to, I'll say 50 meters per second. Okay, find ore is still very much going on. I'd like to build some lights before we uh, wrap this present up. Okay, let's start with this. Okay, let's add some lights to this whole situation. I think a spotlight right over there is in order. I think another one, uh, I say right over, where do I want this thing? Right over here? Yeah, right over here. I think that's definitely the way I want to do this. And then I probably want one more on top, I imagine. I think I'm going to, oh, actually we have this spot here, but I think I'm going to cut this back. This is it's too fast, man. it's just too fast, man. It's so stupid. Uh, steal the color. And then I think we'll put it in right over there. That's going to be helpful. And then I also want some facing down towards the uh, drills. Or facing down from the drills, I guess. And then we should probably put some armor down on this. Yeah, that seems like a very good idea, actually. Alright, so you can get replaced. Uh, that's my survival kit. That's a bit scary. Uh, you can get replaced with a conveyor right over here. I think that's a good idea. Because that way we could feed off another assembler down. Or maybe another refinery in that direction. We do have all this space. We could do something with that. Uh, other, alternatively, alternatively, this actually would fit another assembler pretty comfortably, wouldn't it? Right there. Like just right in this spot because it'll get the turn. We don't really need another one, but I don't see a reason not to add one if we can have one. Oh, you know what we actually do need another of? Is an O2H2 generator. That is something we do need to fit in. Give me that instead. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, this is the better call, I think. Not the better call Saul, just the better call. I think we put that right over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the right move. Okay, put all that away. Then I kind of want to armor this a little bit, I think. I am a little bit worried about it getting swatted, so let's work on that while we're drifting. I think I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to fill up these little blocks here with armor. How am I going to fit all this in here now? I haven't thought this through very well, have I? No. No, he has not. 
Surprised? Neither have I. Just give me like just a little bit of just a little bit of armor around there for the moment. Uh oh. Uh oh. That does not sound like a good time. Um, my bones are chilly. What the hell? Oh my god, the Reavers. The Reavers are onto us. That's like Firefly Reavers, if you're wondering. Uh, if you haven't ever seen Firefly, uh, you are missing out and you should watch it. But I am now very scared. Um, where the hell are these Reavers? I need to get the shields up. We gotta get the shields up and we gotta get turrets on this ship right now. Okay, first things, shields up. Because they might be coming in without signals on. And you know what? I think we should try accelerate a little further. Oh, there are some asteroids up here I want to check out, though. So we are actually going to pivot. I'll break using the the ion thrusters. I just want to sort of fly into the center of this cluster. Okay, but we need to get turrets on this ship immediately. I, I definitely shot myself in the foot by not doing this sooner. Give me a Gatling turret with the plus sign. That means we can scroll through. Okay, our salt cannon, artillery. Oh, I don't know what I want. I definitely... I mean, Gatling's great. We'll get one at least. It's good for shooting down missiles. But we have that laser defense for it as well. Um, the auto cannon's pretty sweet too. So like we could put this right over here. Can I, can I get a, oh, I totally can. I can get a conveyor in here if I try. Uh, we could move that gyro. Okay, maybe that's the play. It's a little scary to do this right now, but maybe we move the gyro. So give me another gyroscope. We will put this uh, temporarily temporarily. Oh, you know what? Not, not temporarily. Let's just bury this into, inside the systems down here. You know what? This actually kind of makes a bit of sense. Right in here. Uh, maybe not. It's a bit close to getting squished if I crash into a thing, but whatever. So I need to get in through here and then come across to here. And realistically, I want to use reinforced conveyors for this bit. I don't usually use them because I hate the way they look, but I think this makes a lot more sense. Because uh, we're going to need to put in... Yeah, you're going to have to turn... They're also really hard to connect compared to other blocks. We're going to put that there. That should connect. It looks like it's fine. And then the same thing over here. So we don't have... We can manually just load these, but I don't think that makes a lot of sense. I think it makes a lot more sense to, uh, to run them like so. And um, where they've got lined, you know, they're lined up with like a connector. Okay, let's get an auto cannon right on here. Okay, deals decent damage to armored targets. That's exactly what I want. It uses the salt cannon shells. Consider my shells cannoned. By the way, if you've made it this far into the video, you probably like watching my content. Uh, if you didn't know, I live stream really often. Not quite every day, but as often as I can. And uh, if you'd like to catch me live, you can turn on notifications for the channel, or you can check out the live stream tab. Uh, you'll find a screenshot to it right over here. There you go. We're currently doing a playthrough of Escape from Tarkov. Really enjoying it. It's like my fifth or sixth one at this point, I think. But uh, they are really, really fun. Okay, uh, Assault Cat, let's deal with you. So yeah, please do check out the live streams. It's uh, pretty nifty, I think. And oh no. Ooh. Trade Station Administrator. Also, I have shot through the asteroid field a little bit. Oh, actually, no, no, no. We're, like, right in the middle of it. That's pretty much perfect. Uh, could not have done that any better if I tried. Okay, let's, uh, let's go check out this one first. And we are still sort of just drifting slowly but surely towards the moons. Oh, hold on. There's a, there's a station just behind this asteroid over here. Let's, uh, let's go there. Let's go there. I got I got 50 minutes of electricity left today. Yes, by the way, that's another thing. Uh, South Africa moment. I know, I know. But uh, let's go see if we can buy some ice. Hold on. This trade station might... Uh, that might change how we go about doing a lot of this stuff. And we'll just coast towards it. Okay, I need to make some uh, damn ammo for this thing, though. Give me auto cannon ammo. What was it? 30 millimeter auto cannon? Right? Right? Assault cannon shell? That's it. That's definitely it. Yeah, yeah. Make make, make 30 assault cannon shells. And then I definitely want to put down a missile turret. They are very powerful. There we go. It's got four, it's got four rounds in it. That's really great. Uh, auto crafting. Assault cannon shell. Are you on here yet? 
Not yet. It'll add it soon. Okay, another couple of full inventories coming off this thing. Uh, let's see what else we could put down turrets wise. So an auto cannon on top seems pretty apropos of everything, to be honest. Uh, we probably want some gunnage on the sides here. We are getting very close to that station, I am aware, don't worry. Uh, I don't want the green, I want the yellow. I, we're going to repaint this ship in the next one, I think. This is... I, I, I don't know if I'm in love with this color scheme anymore. Uh, give me all this. Okay, I'm going to need a connector here. And then we'll... I think we'll put... I think we'll put some Gatling turrets on top. Do I care about shooting down missiles? Not really. I think if I'm going to put turrets, I think I'm putting auto cannon turrets. I think that's the way I'm taking this. Oh, and there's our trade station. Hell yeah, brother. Let's uh, let's get in there and break. Oh yeah, I think I think I'm adding auto cannon turrets. Maybe we'll put some single. Maybe we put Gatling turrets at the back, auto cannon turrets in the front, just so I can like face them towards stuff easily. All right, let's uh, let's break, and let's move towards the Poseidon station. Hopefully, this thing doesn't have a shield generator, or I am going to crash into it. It does have a no combat zone around it, meaning that we can't be attacked while we're in there. This is kind of the dream. We can like we can sit down for a second. We can recover, we can rest, we can dodge all of the nasties coming towards us. It's literally the dream. Man, the Not Fit for Purpose is it's starting to look a lot more industrial. I'm getting big Nostromo vibes from it. Like, we haven't added that much, but it is definitely looking a bit more, well, fit for purpose. At some point, we'll do a big rename. And that's good. Oh, there we go. He's through. Okay, can I dock? It is so important that I am able to dock. Ah, there's a connector down there. Okay, perfect. What happened? My oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Turn the shield off, turn the shield off. I don't mean to harm anybody. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so where are we going to build our connector? I'm going to have to do this pretty quickly. I am running out of time here. Grinding's disabled in the safe zone. No! Okay, so I can't build a connector right now. All right, well, that's fine. Let's just go and investigate the station then. All right, well, we could fly in and dock pretty easily. Poseidon Station. Okay, let's go have a look at what's going on inside Poseidon Station. Beautiful layout. Well done to the devs. Wow. Whoever made this, well done. I love the use of the power modules as, like, greebling, you know, to give some give some effect. Also, ooh, a carbon fiber skin on that's really cool. I think that's one of the DLCs. All right, so where is the trade station proper? That's the, uh, that's the antenna. Where do I... There must be a console somewhere, right? If I pull this out, we'll probably be able to see it. Oh, this is looking promising. Down here. We got a med bay. Oh, that's pretty huge. Can I... I can't get in it, though. Got a science lab over there. This is all just decorative stuff. Speed module again. I love the way they've used it for effect. Aha! Here we go. Okay, we can we can get some contracts. We got an ATM. Oh baby. Okay, we can go get our. Sp Whoa. Looks a bit like the looks a bit like the the bubble in the expanse, doesn't it? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, what have we got here? I he will purchase strap. He can repair and construct. Uh, or we can take over a grid, I suppose. Interesting. I guess that's if I want to buy a suit. Suit upgrade station, huh? What can we get? Uh... What's this vending machine? Oh, so we could just purchase a, a ship. I see. Insufficient funds. What else have we got for me? You got a rocket launcher. Oh, hell yes. I can buy a rocket launcher. Let's go get a rocket launcher. Uh, contracts. What have you got for me? There are no contracts available. Okay. Way to, way to break by heart. Alright, no contracts available. What's this? This is the suit upgrade station. I would like to... Oh, so we can stop the hand drill inhibitors that some of the ships come with. Interesting. Oh, baby. Yes, give me damage reduction. A hundred thousand... A hundred million credits. Um, That is a little steep. Oh, I love the wood effect on this, though. I mean, okay, the wooden toilet, that's a little terrifying. But, uh, what can I say? I'm a simple man. I love the design of the station. I think it's so well done. 
All right, so nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, it's a bit of a shame we don't have any contracts. Um, if anyone knows how to get contracts, I, I feel like that should be full. I think it's a little annoying it isn't. I think something's gone wrong. If anyone knows why I don't have uh, a contract available to me right now, please let me know. All right, but I'm going to grab my cash dollar bills and we're going to deposit them. It's not much. It's only 6,000, but that is enough to buy a missile launcher. So now that I've said that out loud, you know what? Maybe it's plenty. 6,392. Uh, it's a bit weird. I can't just, you know, drag it in, but whatever. There we go. Okay. 4,058. Withdraw. There we go. Give it to me. Thank you for your purchase. Hey, look at this. Okay, give me a missile. Give me a. Oh, we're getting out of the safe zone. Give me a missile. I need to blow something up. It's imperative that I blow something. Just, just give me an access port. There's no time. Uh, give me just one singular rocket. I know they exist. There we go. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold. On. Yes. Oh baby. Load it up. Oh yes. Okay, let's find something to shoot at. I'm gonna go shoot at this rock. Ooh, I like that. Oh, you know what? You know what I am gonna shoot at? I'm gonna shoot at that unknown signal. But we gotta book it, man. I'm, a, I'm about to lose electricity for the day. Okay. I've been wanting to do this this entire series. Okay, well, stop me off here. Ooh, it's a big one. We got a, we got a, a plushie, some space bucks. You love to see it. And what toys did I get? A rainbow welder! I've got like a lot of those. Okay. My name is Indigo Montoya. You kill my father, now I kill you. Oh. Oh, it's been too long since we felt the sweet taste of victory. Alright everybody, thank you so much for hanging out today. I am flat out of time. I've had a lot of fun making this one like I do all of them. Your comments, your suggestions, your likes, your subscriptions, your donations, your memberships. We've had so many new people join in. Really keep Magic and I inspired to keep working on this channel. Uh, we both work part-time, so you quite literally create more content by engaging with this content because it allows us to earn more ad revenue, which allows us to do this more often. Like, it's a one-to-one -one game. The more of this you watch, the more of it you share, the more of it you like, the more of it we can make. Thank you both so much for your time. Oh, not both. I mean, there are probably at least two of you. But thank you everyone so much for your time today. I've been largely unemployed, and I will see you all in the next one. Cheers. You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations and thank you. That puts you in the top eh, 3% of viewers. Here's another video that YouTube thinks you're going to like, and here is a list of all the patron and channel member names. If you don't see yours on there, you can find a link down in the description where you can sign up and support this content directly. Uh, if your name is on there, well, you probably already know that, huh? So, um, what are you still doing here?